cute animals and learning all about horsepower here in Draft Horse Town on Stampede Park. So this is really interesting. These demonstrations take place down here at Draft Horse Town. And a variety of things we've seen this morning. So we saw the treadmill in operation earlier, the sawmill. And what do we have next, Tyler? Right here we have an antique water well drilling rig. Okay. It's uh, right around 100 years old, brought to us by Pioneer Acres. It's a two, man, two to three man operation with one horse. Uh -huh. And it would take about three to four days to drill a water well. Three to four days. Good things take time. You betcha. Okay, so how did this piece of machinery actually work? So there's lots of gears, as you can see underneath. The horse actually powers everything, just like the horsepower we've seen earlier. Yeah. There's a the guy on the back is your labor guy. He'll uh, release the winch, which is just a pulley system. Uh -huh. Once they get the winch down, they put the the Kelly on, which is like a joint of pipe nowadays. Okay. They put the tongs on, and then as the platform goes around, everything corkscrews into the earth, and then we fill our bucket. Wow. So how much water would be gathered at a time? Well, it would be dirt that you're getting because you're trying to get down to the water to find water for your water well. Right, okay, so that's why it would take that many days. You betcha. Okay. And it depends on your, your earth if you had lots of rocks or hard clay. Yeah, absolutely. I, it looks a little bit like an oil drilling, <laughs> drilling rig these days. Absolutely, it's the rig of yesterday. So, and it, like I say, this thing is 100 years old, brought to us from Pioneer Acres, mm -hmm. and uh, Clancy's been a great horse. We demonstrate this thing three to, two to three times a day, every day at Stampede here. Okay, fantastic. Uh, how many working horses do you have down here operating these machines for the people that come down? This year at Draft Horse Town, we have uh, 16 draft horses that are all work horses, and uh, they're great with people, so they'd love to see you guys come down here. Yeah, they are great with people, and actually what we learned a little bit earlier is the bigger the horse, the more calm their demeanor. That's Absolutely, they're gentle giants of yesterday. Yeah, gentle giants, and uh, that, that's fantastic. You can also come down here, and as we mentioned, the Name the Pony contest, which is happening just around the corner, uh, where Lady just had a pony that was that is three weeks old. Okay, so what's happening now, the dirt extraction? Right now what Brennan's doing, he's uh, uh, releasing all the dirt and stuff. Um, so that bucket would have got filled with a lot of dirt. There would have been a big pile on the ground there, and uh, then he'll close it back up, uh -huh. and then he'll drop it back and do, get ready for another bucket. Looks like a lot of work. Very labor intensive, you betcha. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, Draft Horse Town is where we spent the morning. Thank you so much for hosting us, Tyler. Uh, these demonstrations you can see down here are interesting things. Educational component of the experience down here at Stampede Park. So you can ride the rides, of course, and you can come on down here and check out some very fine animals as well. Ted Tara? Uh, am I too late to get in on the Name the Pony contest? Yes, what do you think? Tony. Tony the Pony. Tony the Pony. Is it no Tony the Pony. The, I, I like it. Pony the Pony, and the mom's name is Lady, so Lady and Pony. There you go. <laughs> put your entry. I'll put your entry in. Thank you very much.